Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're outside Tandoori Flame here in Mississauga, Ontario. So Tandoori Flame, this location is actually the biggest Indian buffet, yes, Indian food buffet in North America. So all of Canada, all of America. So I'm super excited. I've been told by many of you, yes, many, many, many of you watchers, my lovely, lovely friends, I appreciate you so much. You've told me to come here for so, so long. So here I am. I really do appreciate the suggestions. And if you have any other suggestions of places I should go, comment down below and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. So today we're here to enjoy the Indian buffet. It is dinner time. The price is about $27. I don't know how busy it will be, but we'll go find out. They're supposed to have over 120 different items. And yeah, just Indian food. I've wanted Indian food for so long. This is supposed to be really, really good. And uh, hey, I am so, so excited. So let's head on in. Let's have some food. Let's, I don't know, have some fun and let's eat. Hi everyone, so we actually have a new audio system, so hopefully this sounds good, hopefully you can hear me okay, we'll try it out. Um, so, but here, to start off, I have some paneer, which is actually a cheese, I really do like it though. We then have some chicken masala, we have some chicken tikka. Um, I got some of these little things, I'm not actually sure what they are, but they're little green looking balls, they look pretty cool. And then I also have a kale salad to start. So there's lots of items, I'm very excited to be diving on into them, but uh, anyway, let's uh, get eaten, and uh, let's have my first taste. I've eaten all day, and I'm absolutely starving. So this is called a creamy kale salad. Mm. It's got poppy seed dressing on it. i tell you one thing, I'm starving. Absolutely starving. But it's really good. Kale's crisp. I got a little bit of a cucumber salad underneath as well. What can I say? I'm absolutely starving. I'm just shoveling it in my face. I am so hungry right now. But great way to start, you need your vegetables. So here I have some of the chicken tikka. So that piece had a bone in it. Actually, sorry, that was the tandoori chicken. This is the chicken tikka. The tandoori had the bone in it. It's made of a lag. It was good, no complaints about that. This is very mild. Whereas the chicken tikka, it's spicy. But very nice to flavor. And here's the tikka again. Again, this is the bone in. Alright, now we have these ones. I have no clue what this is. Oh, I think it's a Brussels sprout. Definitely a Brussels sprout. It's kind of like a pesto on the outside. Got some good spice to it. And this is a paneer. Good flavor. All 
All right, so I listened to the audio and I feel more comfortable now, so I'm gonna do a little more talking. Um, so yeah, I got some more of the uh, Brussels sprouts and then got a cucumber salad, um, which I called many, many, excuse my pronunciation. I also got a couple of loose vegetables, just like some cucumbers and some tomatoes. Then I have a giant, giant, giant plate of butter chicken. Yes, this is a big steaming plate of butter chicken. And then I also got a um, dish which they're calling a manier, which is a pea dish. So get another thumbnail maybe. Cause that is, uh, that is a big plate of food, I tell you. And it is very hot. They just brought out the new butter chicken. Try some more of these Brussels sprout. It's very interesting. Like I said, it's like a dry kind of like kind of a rub on them. Very warm spices. So this cucumber salad they have here, there's some cabbage in there. Some tomatoes. I like it. And honestly, that taking a little bit was good because this butter chicken was super hot and you got to cool off. Mm. This dish with the peas. Has like a lovely like kind of a, a grain in it. Providing just a super, super soft, flavorful taste. The texture is almost resembling like ground beef, but now I'll try some butter chicken guys. I am a big butter chicken fan, so I've been waiting. Mmm. Woo! Oh man. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Okay, that is fantastic. Mm. 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 Pure perfection. Mm. The chicken is so soft. It is so moist, it is so juicy. As you can see, it is just absolutely fresh. Mm. The flavors, mm. get that lovely cream. You like garam masala. Mm. Oh man, it's so good. I'm getting a lot of butter chicken. Definitely a favorite so far. Mm. Oh man, that may be the best butter chicken I've actually ever had. Hands down. At least at a buffet, 100%. All right, so next I got some more of the kale salad. I got some halloumi, which is a cheese. I have some fish pakoras. So we're trying a few other of the different items we got here. I also then have a lamb korma. I also have some more chicken tikka, and this is a goat dish. It started with an M, let me get that name. It's good. Not spicy. I call it very fresh. Lamb is Lamb is tender and soft. Lamb's not gamey either. Of course, it has a heavier taste than chicken, but it tastes very, very good. Really good flavors. Remind me of the, uh, the dish I had earlier with the peas. Very, very similar tasting. And the chicken chicken is still very good. 
try some of the uh, halloumi. Looks like it has a bit of a curry on it. Basically a big block of cheese. Good flavor. And a fish pakora. Very hot. Temperature hot. To me, I'd call it just basically like a breaded fish. I'm just getting a little bit of like an anise, an ice in there. Maybe it's coriander. I still like it. And there is dessert as well. It is really nice. Still nice and juicy. All right, so here I got some uh, veggies this time. Here I have a chickpea dish. Um, then I have the eggplants, and then I have the, I think it's like doal, it's, it's um, lentils. So a lentil dish, a chickpea dish, then we have the eggplant. I also got a veggie samosa, and then I got a lovely, lovely, lovely plate of pineapple, I love pineapple, and some grapes. So, trying a few different items, mixing it on up. I understand often when served over rice or with like a bread, Black try by myself. Let's try to get some more water. Excuse me. Could I bother you for some more water, please? Thank you so much. So do all the lentils. And I know I'm mispronouncing it, I'm sorry. I'm not a professional food reviewer, I'm, I'm a professional reviewer. It definitely has a little more spice to it. Really nice flavor. The lentils are still firm, they're not overly cooked. And chickpeas as well. Still a really nice texture to it. Thank you so much. Very nice flavor. Like I said, good texture. these eggplants. So the eggplant looked really nice, it looks really good. Ooh. Mm. Eggplant is very rich. Quite a bit of like oil in it. Mm. But beautiful roasted flavors. So the combo of everything got my, my throat burned a bit. And of course, let's try the veggie samosa. It got some lovely drippy oils on it from that eggplant. Got some peas, some potatoes in there. It's actually just cinnamon in that as well. I'm really impressed, it's very good. Definitely some water though, heating up from all the spices. All right, as we went with the vegetables, I had to throw in some fruits as well. So I got some grapes. Pretty standard, I mean, it's grapes. 
What I'm really excited for is a pineapple. Love pineapple. Mm. Woo wee. Okay, now we're talking. Mm. That is a good pineapple. Mind blown. Damn. Mm. Mm. I love pineapple. All right, so here I got now what they call a creamy broccoli, which to me just looks like a broccoli with some kind of a dressing on it. I got some honeydew melons, some cantaloupes. Again, the pineapple is great. Hopefully this fruit is good as well. And then I went with some more of the delicious butter chicken. Again, this is definitely my favorite dish so far. It is absolutely steaming, piping hot. And I did get some of the breads. They are making the non breads here. Um, actually, like literally in a fired uh, like cauldron, essentially. So I did have to try some. It looks really delicious, nicely oiled. It is a little warm still, beautifully soft. So we're gonna have to mix that up. I know that's the proper way to do it. I know we haven't been eating a lot of dishes properly, but it is very fantastic. So, well, at least this is, and I'm sure this will be as well. I'm very excited if you can't tell. Yeah, so what they're calling the creamy broccoli, to me it's just a broccoli with like some ranch dressing on it. Straightforward. Not bad. Not as ripe as the pineapple, though. And the honeydew. Mmm. That's a good melon. This definitely gets a thumbs up. Mm. That's even two thumbs up. <laughs> Alright, next let's try this butter chicken. Again, just beautifully piping hot, steamy, delicious butter chicken. Still good. After having some of the other dishes we had, this actually tastes more mild, like it's, it seems lighter spiced now, whereas at first it seemed like, like uh, substantially uh, spiced and flavored. Now it seems a little more mild, and maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a new batch, or I'm assuming it's just because we had some of the other dishes which had a lot stronger, um, you know, let's say spice to them. I'll try with this non bread. That is a very good bread. The outsides are a little crispy. Mm. I like that a lot. All right, I feel the music's getting louder, but anyway. So here I got some, what they call Loal Mas. Loal Mas. So this is one of the few items left out kind of on the hot table that I really haven't tried, at least kind of in that main hot table. Then I got some more of the chicken tikka. I got some more fish pakoras, and I got a veggie samosa. And then I got some more honeydew melon, and then some pineapple as well. And these are very, very hot. Mm -hmm. 
Again, the fish pakora, which is basically deep fried fish. I do like this one. And the veggie samosa, I like this one as well. That one was very fresh, it was very hot. A lot of spice in that one, like heat. Spicy spice, picante. All right, let's try this dish here. So there are some bones in it. I have a feeling it is, uh, by the look of the bones, probably goat. Definitely goat. Very, very tender. I'm getting a little bit less of kind of like winter spices and a little more just straight heat. The sauce is also diabolically red, so it definitely is a spicier one. Get more of the chica. It really does have a nice like grill taste, like you can taste kind of the fireiness they're using. Tandoori flame, you can taste the flame. Spice builds up though. It's got some good spice to it. And I'll admit, I'm getting pretty full. This honeydew, too good. Love that sweetness. The sweetness is so nice and refreshing after, kind of like that real spice, the heat and spice of those items. Ooh, this is like sweet, refreshing, beautiful, beautiful item. All right, so we've been here about an hour. I figure it's about time we start getting some dessert. So I have some glob jobin. Then I have, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce it. We have the, uh, it's a carrot dish. It's a dessert made with carrots. I've had this dessert as well. I forget the name of it. Um, beautiful texture on it, really nice and sweet. Then we have some coconut macaroons. This looks like a carrot cake square. And then this, I believe, is a mousse or a tiramisu. Some items are definitely like listed by name. And then some, like this one, was kind of lacking. But we will uh, find out right now. Ooh, definitely a chocolate mousse. Mm. Rich, savory. We have a thicker chocolate layer on top. You can see that darker note. And then a milder. Actually, I'm getting a little bit of like a caramel butterscotch. Mm. I like it. Lovely flavor, nice and warm. Definitely like a coriander. In fact, there's a piece right there. And 
here is the dessert with the carrots on it. Even though it's like carrot based, I'm getting some like almost like a, a bit like a jelly. There's like a jelly aspect in there. It's a lovely flavor, lovely texture. It's sweet. But you don't taste carrots. You really don't. It kind of reminds me quite a bit of this dessert. Except this one seems like it has carrots in it. So it's almost maybe very similar. Maybe it is the same. That mousse is very good though. Here at a square, like I'm not actually sure what kind it is. Carrot cake. It's good. A lot, a lot of uh, orange now. Yeah, orange. Could it be an orange cake? It tastes like carrot cake with orange. And now into the glob job. So if you've never had one of these, it's like beautiful fried doughs. Arguably similar to a donut. Soaked in a lovely sugar syrup. Because it looks like on the inside. And just absolutely saturate it. Penetrate it with a sugar syrup. Very sweet, very rich. Is every bite in this? It's like explosion of sugar syrup. Let's see if I can like ring one out like. There you guys see it dripping. <laughs> Delicious though. All right, well we've definitely had a lot of items. Pretty much finishing up. I got the last two of the little uh, mousses that they had there, the puddings mousse. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things. A chocolate and then a kind of butterscotch. Now it's got some ice cream, um, just a little bit. This is a strawberry. We got a crazy strawberry ripple through there. Very strawberry. And then I also got a, uh, what I found out was a cappuccino after I already dished it up. I was hoping it was like caramel. Actually, that's pretty good. I would've got another scoop. So overall, I think we did pretty good. Definitely had our fill, I'll put it that way. Um, if you count up plates, I didn't count how many plates I had. Comment down below how many plates we actually ate. Because we ate a couple, just a few, just to say the least. But uh, yeah, very, very good. I think some of my favorite items today. Mm. To be honest, there wasn't really anything I didn't like. I really liked the uh, butter chicken though. That was a very good butter chicken. Definitely the best I've ever had in any of them. The chicken tikka was very good as well. Really, all the other dishes, you know, kind of whether it be the paneers, the kormas, anything was really, really good, actually. It sounds funny, but the fruit was really good. Uh, the kale salad was really great as well. And the cucumber salad was also worth mentioning. But overall, we've been eating for about an hour and a half. So like I said, I think it's my time to go. Um, but yeah, very delicious, no complaints. So that everyone, Tandoori Flame, I would recommend. Definitely a uh, pretty impressive place. 
There were a couple items, you know, admittingly on the buffet that I didn't try, um, but I tr did try to, to try mostly everything. It said try there a lot of times. Um, but yeah, but that everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Again, if you liked the video, hit that subscribe button down below. It helps me out, helps you out as well. That way you don't miss an upload. It's totally free and uh, helps people know, like YouTube, know that you like the videos, that you like the content. But I want to think that's all, you know, for today. Um, butter chicken is my, th I think my, th I think probably my favorite Indian item. Uh, let me know yours down below. And uh, I better run until next time. Stay happy, really hungry, happy eating. Hopefully this audio worked well. And uh, we'll continue playing out to get you better content. We have improved quality, video quality coming your way as well. Um, slowly but surely. So that everyone, until next time. Have a lovely day.